Hi everyone, Tim Brown. Welcome back to My Apple Podcast. Man, recently they have come out with quite a number of fantastic applications for iOS. And recently the company Algorithm, or the developers Algorithm, just came out with a new version of the DJ app, an application that was made originally for the Mac and then released for iOS devices, including an application called VJ where you can mix music and video. Well, now we have DJ2, and there are some interesting new features that I think are worth sharing with you. So let me show you what they look like. Just give me a few seconds here. And as you can see, you have the classic design, the skeuomorphic design of two virtual DJ tables, or two virtual turntables, I'm sorry, where you can play your virtual albums. But Algorithm added some hidden layers of functionality, which I'm going to show you in a bit. But first, let me just go over the basic features in case you're just looking at DJ for the first time. You see two turntables. So on the top left of the turntables are music icons. Those icons enable you to bring in music from your library. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tap on that music icon. It's basically an iTunes icon, and you can go in and access your music library in iTunes. That's how you access music using DJ. I already have a playlist set up, and I'm going to bring in two house music samples. And I'm going to hold off on playing them for the moment. I'm just going to go ahead and get them loaded on the two turntables. Back that up a little bit. Okay, so that's the basic look. Now let's go ahead and explore some of the functionality and then I'll share with you the new features. One thing I really like myself not being a DJ is I like to take advantage of the syncing features. Like for example, I'm going to go ahead and start with this one track. And I'm going to go ahead and hit sync on the other turntable. So when I bring it in, I'll have a nice close parallel between the two in terms of the beats per minute. And it'll make the transition a lot smoother. You'll, no you'll notice along the top that you have sliders that you can use to control the volume. So I'm actually gonna go ahead on the top left and bring that one down so that I can gradually raise that as I move this slider over on the bottom. So I'm going to actually move both sliders simultaneously as I bring the other song in. And this is essentially how it works. I'm not going to be fancy about this. So I just brought in the other track. I know, I'm not a professional, but you kind of get the idea. Now what's really nice about DJ is that you can also add some really cool effects. And there are many different ways that you can do that. On the one hand, you'll see that there are two tiny little circles, on the top left and top right, just above the turntables. I'm going to go ahead and select them on both sides. And you see here it gives me several options where I can add different effects. You'll see first of all on the left hand side I can go in and just control some EQ elements. So in this case I'm playing the album on the left right now and so I'm just going to go ahead and bring down the mid-level sound. And you see how that just changes the sound of that. And you can play around with the EQ. There's also special effects where you can also add echo. And I'll go ahead and turn that up a little bit so you can hear that. So that's the echo. And that's in manual mode by the way. You can go ahead and also add a loop, and loop can be added in two beats, four beats, eight beats, etc. You can set that up. I'm going to go ahead and move it to four beats, hit loop. And as you can hear, I'm just looping four beats continuously. For a leash loop, and then it goes back to playing as normal. And you can go ahead and play around with the different features that way. I'm going to go back to FX and play something else like Flanger, so you can hear what Flanger sounds like. And 
And you can do that on both tracks. Let's go ahead and remove that. And now let's go ahead and explore some other ways in which you can manipulate the tracks. This is a new feature that comes with DJ2. There's a little grid icon right between the two turntables. If you tap on that, you'll see that that opens up pads, beat pads for adding different kinds of sound effects. Actually, you know what, before I do that, I'm actually going to show you one more thing. Up above, right underneath the red record button, and you can record your mixes, by the way, well, that's a nice feature, but below that is a wave icon. And here, now the turntables become these floating bands of music. And if you hit the icons at the top, you'll see they're broken down into quadrants or segments, rather, which enable you to control different aspects of the music. For example, at any moment, I can go in and just select one and add repeated effects and so forth. So it gives you some added level of functionality there. And you can also control the tracks the same way you would if they were in the skeuomorphic mode. Well, for example, right here are the tiny buttons for bringing up the menu for all the different sound effects. And you see I have the same menu, so I can go ahead and add the flanger effect again. So this is a nice feature to have, a nice option. You can exit out of that and then hit the icon again and go back. Oops, I'm sorry, the wrong one. Hit the wave icon again and go back to turntable mode. And since I'm so excited about going to this other feature, let's go back to the beat pad mode. And this is a nice option as well. If you click on this music icon above here, you still you have three options, essentials, sound effects, and then dubstep pack. I'm going to go ahead and just go with Essentials first and you can kind of get a sense of what at, what's at your disposal here. For example, I can hit the Foghorn, Gunshot, and DJ. Alright. And then there are beat pads so you can get some extra beats in there if you want. So you see, there's a lot of flexibility there. Now I'm getting ready to run, so I'm going to go ahead and move back over to this other track. All right. So that's DJ. You have a lot of different new features, and you can just play around with them, have some fun, and see what you can do with it. DJ is quite affordable. It's only $4.99, and I would encourage you to get the splitter that's also available. It, this enables you to hear both tracks while one cable is plugged into a speaker. So you can actually be a DJ. You can hear the mixes yourself, but only the audience get to hear the one track that's actually playing. So I would look on DJ's website for the splitter cable. This is Tim Brown, Bible Podcast. Thanks for tuning in. Check me out next time.